Hello and welcome back. In this tutorial, as promised, we will be creating a small paint application. In process of doing so, we will develop some intuition about how the event methods in the star code I gave you work, and learning the two most important drawing functions, draw circle and draw line. So let's get started. We begin again by copy pasting the starter code that I gave you. So copy paste the entire folder and rename it to tutorial2, enter. So here we have the starter code.py that we would like to be changing. Drag it into your favorite editor. So this is our starter code. Let's remind ourselves what it does. So double click to compile and run. Well, not really compile, anyway. Um, so you basically just get a white screen and it does nothing. And when you hit escape, it quits. Of course, the reason that we see the white screen is that we initially flood the entire screen with white and then all we do later in the draw function every 40th of a second is we just flood the screen with more white. So all we see is just white, white, white. Now let me show you how we create a circle. We will be using this function, it's called pygame.draw.circle. So pretty intuitive. It expects a couple of arguments. The first argument is where you would like to draw the circle. For us, this will almost always be self.screen. The next argument is the color of the circle. So let's create a black circle. So it's a three tuple. You create tuples by putting in brackets, separating by commas. Zero, 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 meaning we have zero of red, green, and blue, black color. Next is a two tuple specifying the position. So let's do 50 and 100, more in the coordinate systems later. And finally, the thickness of the circle, or the radius. Let's make that 20 pixels. So save and run. And we get a circle on the screen. So every 40th of a second, we flood the entire screen white, and then we put a circle on top of it. By the way, if the fact that we are redrawing the exact same thing 40 times a second is bothering you, then yes, there is another way to do this. So let's comment these two lines so the programmer will ignore them. And we have to instead put here pass, because Python really needs something to be in every method. So we put pass, that means basically do nothing. Now let me copy paste this draw circle method, and let me just put it in the init. So basically, we initialize a window, we fill it with white, and then we draw the circle right there. And then from then on, we don't ever draw anything else. So yes, this will work as well. So let me launch it again. So you get that circle again. One other thing I want to bring your attention to is the coordinate system in Pygame. So we are drawing the circle in position 50 and 100. What this means is that we are drawing it 50 from the left and 100 from the top. 50 from left, 100 from top. So the coordinate system has its origin here in the top left, that's 0, 0, and then it increases to the bottom and to the right. Excellent, so we can move on now. So right now we are drawing the circle in position 50 and 100. So instead we would like to have a control over where we draw things. So we can do this by using the event methods. So here we have the mouse up event method. Every time I click a mouse, this gets executed. Now it gives us what button was clicked, and it gives us also what position the click occurred in. So let me copy paste this pygame.draw and put it here instead of this pass. And instead of using the position 5000, let me just use the tuple that will be passed to me here. Pause. So put it right there. Let's take out this original circle that we are drawing there, and let me start this up. Um, start go to the pi. So here we go. Click, mouse up, click, mouse up. Every time I click, this gets executed and we make a new circle right there in that same position. But of course, in our paint program, we would like to make continuous strokes with our brush, so we will not be able to use the mouse up method. Instead, we will use mouse motion. So let's get an intuition for how mouse motion works. Here we get a bunch of things. We get the buttons that are being held, the position where the mouse cursor is, and rel, which is the relative displacement of the mouse cursor from the previous frame. So we'll see how that works. Let's us, let us just print all these things to see how they work. So in Python you can just print things and you can separate by comma. So let's just print these variables, take out the pass, we don't need it anymore. And let's save and run. So let me arrange these windows here. Whoa. So see we're getting a lot of stuff printed there. Like this. So that's the mouse motion executing, and it's showing what buttons are being pressed, the position of the mouse cursor, and where the mouse cursor was relative to now in the previous frame. So if I move it very quickly, then you'll see that the mouse is moving very quickly here. If I move it slowly, then the relative displacement is very low. If I hold my mouse button, left mouse button down, 
the first thing here is 1 because the left mouse button is being pushed the middle button is being pushed the right button is being pushed okay that's all we need so we will change the program as follows we are going to get rid of this mouse up thing we are not going to use it anymore so just pass on that event we are going to use mouse motion and we would like to draw a black circle in position pause if the left mouse button is pushed in other words remember that buttons was a three tuple and if the first thing in that tuple was a one that meant the left mouse button is being pushed in other words if buttons at the zeroth position is one then we would like to draw our little circle there so instead of position 50 100 we draw it at position pause wherever the mouse is and let's make it slightly smaller radius 5 so if left button is pushed draw a circle otherwise ignore so run there we go so it's not keeping up with us if we are too fast but if you draw slowly then you are getting brush strokes so we are now going to fix this uh, dot problem and this is where the second drawing function is going to come in instead of drawing the circle at the current position we are going to be drawing lines from the current position to the position we were in just a frame ago in other words we are going to do lines so pygame that draw that line will be the new call the arguments look exactly the same except you specify an additional position an additional endpoint so self that screen the color will be black it will go from pause which is our current position to the position we were in just a frame ago and this is easy to compute because we know how much we have moved with respect to the frame ago to the last frame so what we would really like to do here if these were vectors is to do kind of pause minus rel because this would give us the position the old position um, if we subtract them let's say the thickness is 5 except that you cannot do this in Python because both pause and rel are just tuples so Python looks at this and it's saying oh I have a tuple and a tuple and you're trying to subtract them I don't know how to do that because tuples could not only contain numbers they can also contain strings and they can contain anything really so Python does not have a defined uh, way to do subtraction on just general tuples instead what we do is we are going to say take the first thing in pause and subtract it from the first thing in rel take the second thing in pause subtract it from the second thing in rel and form a tuple of that so this is basically our old position the current x coordinate minus how much we've moved in x coordinate and the current y coordinate minus how much we've moved in y coordinate okay so save and now let's see what happens so tada it's pretty easy so we fixed the problem by doing lines now a part of my pitch was that we are also going to have the eraser functionality so let's see how we could implement that with left mouse button we are already drawing so let's use the right mouse button for the eraser in other words if instead buttons at 2 is 1 remember that buttons at 1 is just the middle mouse button so buttons at 2 then let's copy paste this line for creating a circle we are just going to create a big fat circle in our position and that's going to function as an eraser so change the color to white and make the radius pretty big so let's say 30 or something like that so if the right mouse button is pushed then start erasing by drawing big white circles so left mouse button draw now I'm holding the right mouse button see I'm erasing my trace by drawing white circles so that's it we have an eraser and we can also draw and we are done good that's it I encourage you to try all of this out and play around with it a bit so for example this is a challenge for you how would you do this <laughs>
uh, things like that. So if you are very new to Python, I would recommend looking at some very beginning tutorials on this. Finally, if you are having trouble, you can check the link in the video description for more help, links, and the code. For now, thank you for watching, and I'll see you later.